We are going to continue with coordinate geometry and focus on the midpoint of a line segment. You will find this on page 304 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Midpoint of a line segment. The middle of a line segment is its midpoint. To find the midpoint of a line segment, you just calculate the average of the coordinates. Therefore, add both x coordinates and divide the result by 2. And add both y coordinates and divide the result by 2. So, here's the formula. The midpoint of M of the line segment is I add the x values, I divide it by 2. I add the y values, I divide it by 2. Let's look at an example. Okay, example 5. Given the two points, find the coordinates of the midpoint. Now it's very good first to write down the two points, then to mark this is point 1, this is point 2. So I add it up, I divide by 2. I add it up, I divide by 2. And then the answer will be 3 over 2, and the answer will be a half. So the coordinates of the midpoints are 3 over 2, or 1 and a half, and a half. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do for me try now 1, number A, as well as, let's just move this up, as well as number 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number 1a. Calculate the coordinates of the midpoint between the following points. So let's write down the points. 1 and 4 and 8 and 6. Okay, now let's just mark. This is point 1. So this is x1, y1, this is point 2, so this is x2, y2. So if I want to find the midpoint, it will just be, and I'm just going to write down the formula just, just for the first time. So I add up the x values, I divide by 2, I add up the y values, and I divide it by 2. So, and then there will be a comma. So if I add up the x values, it will be 1 plus 8 divide 2. And if I divide this, it will be 4 plus 6 divide 2. So this answer will be, this is 9 divide 2. And this one is going to be um, 10 divide 2. So my coordinate point, calculate the coordinate of the midpoint. So the coordinate of that midpoint and that will be, you can either say four and a half or four point five and five. That will be the coordinate of the midpoint. Then let's look at number 2. X and Y are points on a coordinate plane. Find the lengths of the line segment OX, OH, and that where, uh, what is the relationship between the points X and the line segment OY. Okay, now let's quickly do this. Let's start. Let's just make space. Okay, so first we are just going to find the length, like the previous example. So if I just, it's going to be 2a, so find ox, okay, I'm first going to write down all the points, so let's just, let's just, okay, let's just make o, that will be the origin, and the origin will always be 0, 0, and then x, what will be x, it's 1 and 3, and what will be y, it's 2 and 6. Okay, find the lengths of the line OX. So, OX, that is going to be, okay, let's just going to, let's call this point 1. 
So if this is point 1, so I just call this 1, this 2, this 3. So this is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. And this is x3, y3. I'm going to do it like the previous one. So then I'm just going to take my root. So I'm just going to O, it's OX. So it's going to be, let's just write the formula. I think it's just going to help. So it's X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. And that is going to give me an answer. Okay, X2, so it's 1 minus 0 squared plus 3 minus 0 squared. And that is going to be 1 squared plus 3 squared. And that is going to be 1 plus 9. And that's going to be the square root of 10. Okay, and then OY. Okay, let's just do the next one. Okay, so OY. Again, it's the difference. Okay, now I'm just going to call it x3 minus x1 squared plus y3 minus y1 squared. So it's going to be um, x3, so it's 2 minus 0 squared plus 6 minus 0 squared. So that is going to be 2 squared plus 6 squared, which is going to be 4, plus 36, which is going to be the square root of 40. Okay, and then the last one, xy. Okay, so let's just do that one. What color? xy. xy. Okay, now there is x, there is y. So it's just a difference in x. So we can again say x3 minus x2 squared plus y3 minus y2 squared. So that is going to give us x3. So it's 2 minus 1 squared plus 6 minus 3 squared. And that is going to give us 1 squared plus 3 squared. And that is also going to give us 1 plus 9, which is the square root of 10. Okay, let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, uh, so this is this. What is the relationship between the point X and the line segment o, OX? So the point X is the same distance from O and Y. So OX, okay, and I think it's again better if you're just going to make a sketch, because if you make a sketch, you're going to understand it better. So let's just make a sketch. Let's just put the grid on. Okay, let's just make the sketch. So if I make the sketch, I just want to see what was that point. It's going to be, let's just move it a little bit back, one and three and two and six. Um, okay, so it's more down, one and two, okay, three and, three and six, okay. Okay, so this is going to be 1 and 3, 1 and 1, 2, 3, and it's going to be 2 and 6, 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, so it's a bit higher, and there is 0, 0. Okay, so if I draw this, you will, let's see if it's on a straight line, it looks like a straight line. Can you see? Now it's better. What's the relationships? Okay, let's just mark the points. So this is X, <clears throat> and this is Y, and this is O. Okay, let's just um, get a pen. This is O. So what is the relationship between the point X 
and the line segment O Y. And now it's very easy because <clears throat> I want to take you back to this. O X was square root 10. Um, X Y was also square root 10. And then O Y was square root 40. Now I, I think it's better if you take a calculator and you just work it out. So press on a calculator. I just want to get my calculator. Okay. Press on your calculator square root 40 because it's difficult to see it in the roots. So it will be 6, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5, 5, 5. And square root 10, it's 3, 1, 6, 2. So multiply that with 2 and you get that 6. So can you see it's exactly this and this will give you this. So x is the midpoint. And that's why I'm ending off by saying therefore the point x is the same distance from O and Y. So therefore um, X is how oh, just do that the midpoint and OX is equal to XY.